Hey guys, this video I want to look at tariffs using welfare analysis. So consumer surplus, producer surplus, government revenue, and then total surplus. So as we know, tariffs are a tax on imports or import duties. They increase the price of imports. So with that in mind, we can look at the graph for tariffs. So assuming that this market is on the market for shirts. As we know, the demand curve of shirts is downward sloping, as is with any uh, demand curve for a microeconomic product. That means the demand curve and the supply curve domestically is upward sloping as well. So there being the supply. So as we can see, without any international trade, the equilibrium price in this market will be at P1 and Q1. But we don't have to worry about the equilibrium price in the domestic market because we have international trade in this market. So this is domestic demand and this being domestic supply. Domestic supply which is an upward sloping curve. Now the world price is below the the equilibrium price in this market. Let's put it here. The world price is here. So this is world price of shirts. Now as we know Australia is a small country and it can't affect the world price by our domestic supply demand. So if we demand more of it more of it then we wouldn't actually affect the, the domestic price or the world price I should say of these shirts. And so the world price is also the price without tariffs. So as we can see the the, the surplus without tariffs is actually here. Or well, the consumer surplus without tariffs is this large triangle there because it shows the excess we are willing to produce relative to the price we are producing. However, the domestic supply surplus for producers, so the producer surplus is only this little triangle here because it, only, it shows those domestic producers who are able to produce at a lower price than the world price. So with this in mind, we're going to show what happens to the to the price of this shirt once a tariff is introduced. So when a tariff is introduced, the world price is has increased. So as we know, a tariff is a tax on or, is it, or an indirect tax on imported goods. And so the price with tariffs we're just going to call P W so with tariffs W T actually so price with tariffs is here so that just bumps up the price of the tariffs so that it increases producer surplus to this large block here so what this suggests is that prior without the tariff the domestic demand was here Q D just going to call this QD1 and QS1 is here. So domestic demand without tariffs was at QD1 and domestic supply is here. So the excess of demand in supply without international trade would mean that there would be a shortage of shirts. However, with international trade, this, this excess in demand and supply, so QD1, the excess of QS1, this is represented as imports. So the distance between here and here is represented as imports. I'm just going to rub out market for shirts because we know that this market is indeed a market for shirts. But it could be any market. The market for shirts is actually, actually irrelevant. It could be any market, any, any international market that does attract a tariff. So that would be imports. However, with the increase in the world price, that means at this price at PWT, 
the domestic demand would be at QD2 and the domestic supply would increase to QS2 so instead of having imports being this large bracket there imports would actually decrease to this bracket here so as we can see imports will shrink from QD1 to QD2 and from QS1 would increase to QS2 so as a result we can see that domestic producers are actually producing more or supplying more from QS1 to QS2 and we're actually demanding fewer imports to only the difference between QD2 and QS2 okay, so let's, let's label all these different triangles and squares and we're going to apply welfare analysis. We have A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. Alright, so as we as we as we can see, before the introduction of a tariff, the the consumer surplus was whatever consumers could be able to demand above the world price so whatever they're willing to pay above the price of this shirt so since the price with our tariffs at the world price is given by this horizontal line here we can see that the consumer surplus is everything above that line which meets the demand curve at this point here so the consumer surplus would be a plus b plus c plus d plus e and plus f producer surplus being all the producers who are willing to supply at a cost lower than the world price would only be G as we can see domestic supply being upward sloping and only those few producers here are able to supply at a lower cost and therefore compete with our international competitors so producer surplus in our domestic country would just be G and without any tariffs we can see that the government revenue is zero and so total surplus would be A plus B plus C plus D plus E plus F plus G. So you add consumer surplus to producer surplus and we get total surplus. After a increase in the world price due to tax due to taxation in the form of tariffs, we can see that producer sur or consumer surplus rather is only here where we are willing to produce above or where we are willing to consume above the world price plus tariff so this is world price plus tariff this horizontal line here so after consumer surplus is a plus b so the change in fact would be negative c negative D negative E negative F so consumers are obviously worse off by this here producers however are better off because since tariffs actually increase the price of international internationally made shirts that means more producers are able to compete with that increase in price and so producers gain C here so producers who are willing to produce at a lower price than this uh, world price plus tariff horizontal line here we see that after producer surplus is C plus G and as a result the change is G yeah. so this is where it gets a little bit more complicated is government revenue so previously we had no government revenue but as we know a tariff is a tax on imports and all taxes are recorded as government revenue so when the government taxes or puts an increase in the price to tariffs or puts a tax onto it this means that increase isn't actually uh, gained by producers it isn't gained by consumers but it is tax and therefore is recorded as revenue by the government so now we can see that the imports after the tax increase in tax after the introduction of a tariff is only from QD2 
to QS2. So it makes up the the shortage in supply domestically because at that price producers are only willing to supply this amount at QS2. However, domestic consumers are wanting QD2. So as a result, we can see that this taxation is this level of imports or the amount of imports so taxation is the difference in imports so QD2 minus QS2 so that would be imports multiplied by the tariff so how many imports we actually make multiplied by the tariff which is the difference between the price with a tariff minus the price without a tariff being here and so as a result we can see that this import or this tariff revenue gained by the government is shaded here or denoted by the letter E so the government after the introduction of a tariff gains E in revenue being the difference between the quantity demanded and the quantity supply locally which is also the amount we actually import and the difference between the price with the tariff minus the price without the tariff and that being the the cost or the tax rate and so the change is the government would therefore gain E so if we add up the total surplus we can see that overall after tax A, after this tariff, total service will be A plus B plus C plus E plus G, and the change overall will be negative D minus F. Now, negative D minus F, which I'm just going to shade here in pink, this represents a dead weight loss. So D and F equals dead weight loss. Now what D represents is that Australia would therefore spend more resources than necessary to supply this units between QS1 and QS2. So for an efficient amount or efficient allocation of resources, Australia should only supply QS1. But now we have an inefficient allocation of resources and we're, we're utilizing or we're allocating more resources into this market for shirts than we should have or that we should be without a tariff. So this means that we are actually supplying more resources or injecting more resources into this, this market for shirts where we could have utilized these raw resources into areas of production where we are more comparatively advantaged. So as we know, with a world price below the equilibrium price, a domestic equilibrium price here, we can see that we are actually being inefficient. So D represents an inefficient allocation of resources. F, however, shows how how domestic consumers are actually paying that much more in goods in um in costs to purchase this good of shirts. So F represents the loss in consumer satisfaction. Satisfaction. So instead of paying this price at the world price here, uh, at, um, at the world price represented by this horizontal line here, they're actually they're actually paying this price, this world price plus tariffs. So instead of utilizing their, their income at a more effective way, they're actually using some of their money to pay for this tariff, which therefore represents a loss in consumer satisfaction. So they could have used this uh, money to buy something, something else, and by using that money to buy something else, they could have maximized their living standards. And so this deadweight loss being a representation or a mathematical representation of inefficiency, and as we know, inefficient allocation of resources is represented by a not minimizing opportunity cost, represented by D. So we're not minimizing the opportunity cost of using resources, and B, not maximizing our living standards, represented by F. 
So as we can see, that if we remove remove this tariff, then we can get rid of this dead weight loss here of negative d minus f. And so by removing a tariff or cutting a tariff uh, as part of trade liberalisation, then our material living standards in the economy can improve by d and f. And so the total surplus or the total living standards in the economy can improve as a result of trade liberalisation by reducing tariffs.